Does Kanye have a point? Uh, normally, I'm not on with Kanye on most. <laughs> I'm just we yeah, we're most, on two different yeah. planets. Fair yeah. enough. Mm-hmm. But on this, on this, I I mean, I get what he's saying. I really do. What are you saying? That LeBron should be in Cleveland. That's where he's from. That's where he was drafted. That's where his people oh. are. I, Shannon, the idea of it is not be. It's not like out of the out of this world. Okay, Michael Jordan was born in uh, in Brooklyn, but grew up in North Carolina. Okay. So the difference is there was no team. He wasn't drafted by the Hornets or Bobcats or whatever you want to call them. There was no team. All I'm saying is. When you look at LeBron's career, if LeBron would have stayed at, in his hometown, delivered the championship, which he wound up doing, mm-hmm. it would have been a great story of this local kid from Akron, right down the road from Cleveland, who becomes this great basketball player, yep. lives up to the expectations on the cover of Sports Illustrated, mm-hmm. all this other stuff, mm-hmm. does all the other stuff that he's done for the community right mm-hmm. there, and delivered, but not, whether it was one, two, whatever you wanted to give him. Or he went to three or four championships and won one or two. But he finally delivered for a city that had never, hadn't won since Jim Brown ran the football. That's true. That's the last time they had won anything on the mistake by the lake, which is what they used to call Cleveland. Mm-hmm. So I do get it. I don't think it's the end of the world that he moved on. Mm-hmm. But would it have been a nice story? And then, okay, he left, went to Miami. They're burning the jerseys. They hate LeBron. He comes back mm-hmm. and delivers. Okay. They come back, they beat the Warriors after being down 3-1, yeah. to one, first time in NBA history. Mm-hmm. He needs a little help from Kyrie, but they get it done. A lot of help. They win a championship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I need, guess, okay. They need a little help from Draymond, too, right. but go ahead. But it was a great story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then after that, instead of just saying, I'm going to ride this out, I don't need to do anything else. This has been a great run, great career. I got all these numbers, accolades. A lot of people consider me one of the top two or three players of all time. I'm good. Nope. Not good enough. I'm leaving you again, and I'm heading out west, and you guys should be happy that I came back, happy with the one championship. So Kanye's not, like, Kanye, off his rockers you to think that, Cle- that LeBron James should have played his entire career in Cleveland. You, you and Kanye are both out of your mind. If you don't mind me asking, <laughs> Rob, where were you born? I was born in New York. Okay, did you work for the New York paper? Uh, yeah, I worked for the Daily oh, News. Oh, well, okay, you worked for the Daily News. Did you stay there your entire career? No, I didn't stay Why there. Why didn't you stay there, Rob? You should have stayed there. You would... Rob, are you the best player on the No. Lineup? So now, <laughs> first of Here's all. Here's the difference, Shannon. And, I'll, and you know what? That's a great point. And when I went to Newsday as a columnist, mm-hmm. and, and Skip, you'll notice, it's a difference between being one of the three columnists and being the columnist. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I work with Mike Lupica. Mike Lupica was the voice of the paper, okay. was the best. Now, if I was in that spot, Skip, do you think I would have left New York nope. if I was the yeah. number one columnist? Probably Never. So. I, don't, I do not agree with Kanye. Um, I think Kanye is ridiculous. Kanye West is the same guy that says slavery was a choice. Okay. Now, make sure you put that on record. He's also I the same. I told you oh, I don't agree I, with him. I, I told you that. He also said the 13th Amendment should be abolished. Now, let me get this straight. Now, here's LeBron James that grew up in Akron that helped fund and found a school that helps 240 third and fourth graders. Mm-hmm. Now, whether he stays or goes, that's in the community. That's helping his community. Um... Let me get this straight. Madonna was born in Detroit. Should she have stayed in Detroit? The Jacksons were born in Gary, Indiana. Should they have? So, do you understand how ridiculous? No, you, but no, the difference I don't. is. She doesn't play for the Pistons. You what difference? Like Skip. Right? Skip. He's not talking about that. What he's talking about label is there in Gary, Indiana for he, them to stay to. He's, th- he's talking about LeBron helping the people of Cleveland. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with basketball. Kanye West doesn't know the difference between a basketball and a soccer ball. He he's, doesn't. Talking, he's talking about helping the community. Mm-hmm. Are you telling me LeBron James cannot help his community I from said LA? He, I said he helped his community. I said it would have been a nicer story. For a guy who was born there to stay there. Yeah, but why can't he do what's in the best interest of Le- LeBron? He's helping the community. Look at what he's done for Maverick and Rich Paul giving them platforms. Look at what he's done for the community. It's never going to be a good enough for some people when it comes to LeBron. Mm. So, I will agree with one point you made about Kanye because I just happened to sit next to him at a Conor McGregor fight and we were trying to talk sports and he doesn't know a whole lot about sports. So, this was simple wisdom from him. He was just, and he was apologizing. He just said, 
LeBron belongs in Cleveland, and he does. You you got to admit, you know he does. No, he does not. Deep down, he is Cleveland, or he was Cleveland, and they they. He, he was born and raised in that community, and they they so embraced you're him and the way. You can't leave. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. but but and again, you did some great things. You did win the championship, but I said this last year on the show. You'll forget this, but I thought I, I was just I, I I'm not going to condemn him for going to Hollywood because it was a great career move for LeBron. But the heart move, the feel good move, the the high character move would say. I just want to stay here with my people because he gave them an identity they have not had for years and years in sports. And, and the Indians can't give them that identity. And, and the, the football, Browns can. They, they, they could, if, if again, if Baker Mayfield, but he's not going to be LeBron James. You know, he's not going to be the greatest player on the planet. So it, it would have been the feel greatest story ever if LeBron had said, you know what, I'm here and I'm going to, I'm going to finish here. And we're still going to be the best team in the East next year because they would have been favored to win the East with that team. For the next you, four you, years, you love the you love the moves that they made at the trade deadline. So, Lebr- so okay. just to make sure I'm hearing this correct, LeBron is supposed to do make everybody else feel good mm-hmm. except himself. Okay, but but do you know how it hurt those people in Cleveland, Ohio, or that neighborhood, Northeast Ohio, last night to have to see him? Just basking in purple and gold in L.A., you don't think that just tore their guts out? Yeah, but Th- that's hard, if Kanye man. Kanye was trying to make the argument about the uh, the sports, but he's trying to make an argument about the community mm-hmm. and what LeBron was doing in the community and the people need him. And he made the uh, uh, he's still doing he, that. I'm not knocking LeBron. I'm talking about so, LeBron. so he needs to be there. So no, he, I, I, I just I didn't say he needs to be anywhere. He he has, he can do whatever he wants. I'm just saying I think that it would be a better story. His career once he came back. Not to walk out on him again. That's all. Name, you know, name that's the book, all. Name, name the great book that only has one chapter. It's not one chapter. Okay, then. Exactly. Because it had just been one chapter had he stayed in Cleveland. Mm. Oh. Oh. No, but, that, but, but all I'm saying is there's different chapters as far as what he went through in Cleveland. Just because you're in one place doesn't mean that's one chapter. One cha- the hard years when they went to the finals, right, and got swept by leaving, them. Leaving Cleveland, what? going to Miami. Leaving Miami, going back to Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Going, leaving Cleveland, going to L.A. The building this brand in Hollywood. The school that he left behind in Skip, the community. Skip, can I give you? Can I read you the Derek Jeter chapter where he's played twenty years for the New York Yankees? Everybody doesn't have that luxury. But he played twenty years for the New. Did he go anywhere, Skip? Did he have to go anywhere? Derek Jeter played all twenty years, Shannon. And you know what? He has a great book. He has almost a spotless how many, career. How many? Almost a spotless how career. Many Five 20? championships. How many? How many t- out of all the pro sports? How many played twenty years at one locale? Not many. I didn't say. I didn't say they did. But when you talk about an upper echelon, one of the all-time greats, it is doable. A lot of That's that. All. To, a lot of that has to do with the team. Okay. The, the Yankees weren't the mistake by the lake, though. Like, yeah. like he he was so blessed to get. Picked by no, the Yankees, I, I right? It. Okay. Yes. But LeBron was pretty blessed too, or at least Cleveland was blessed that they were in position to take him number one. Let me ask you a question. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, he's drafted by the Lakers. The Lakers has the number one pick, or the Celtics have the number one pick. You think he jumps? Okay, but it didn't happen. Okay, then Derek Jeter got, go got drafted by the Lakers. Had he got drafted by Tampa Bay, you think he stayed there the whole time? Or Arizona yeah. Diamondbacks? Oh no! Oh, why not, Rob? Well, maybe he got was. he got drafted by the most prestige franchise in mm-hmm. all of baseball. Maybe one of the top two franchises in all of uh, uh, American pro sports. Skip, if you think of Cowboys, the Yankees pinstripe. They got the pinstripe next to the Yankees. Mm-hmm. That's where Derek Jeter went. So to try to compare by Cleveland, the way, LeBron's two favorite teams. Cowboys. If you want to try to compare the Cleveland the Cleveland Cavaliers to the Yankees, Rob Parker, when, you're when, in my stack. Okay, but, my, but, but wait a second. That's <laughs> Kanye's point. They need him. And, and Kanye believed that Chicago needed him, so he's relocated back to Chicago. Well, he, Kanye, that's what's in his heart. Kanye says one thing one day and says something entirely different the next day. Okay. If you can't you, put you could be there. right about that, but this simple wisdom that just popped out of his mouth apologetically, it does yeah. apply here. So what was that wisdom when he said slavery was a okay, choice? Well, well, obviously. Well, we know that that's... It's so just, so, so, well, what's you, so the you pick and choose? You pick I'm, and choose? Okay. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yes. Yes. He, Shannon, what are you I saying? Like so this. you're saying you can't say... So if you say something wrong, you can can never say anything else that could be right. When, he, when are you gonna apologize? I'm just asking. I'm asking if somebody says misspeaks, and then can it, you never say anything again that and you then were he buying says to? The Thirteenth Amendment. I, 
I so how many, so, so that. how many how oh, many how many times does he say does he misspeak? This, that you, this little nugget, it I was, think was just a little just nugget. A little nugget yeah. And I think that he what he was saying wasn't malicious, wasn't like terribly bashing LeBron. He was just saying he's from Cleveland, from that area, and it would have been great for him to still be there. A lot of people That's do all. great, a lot of people do great things in their communities, even though they don't live in those communities. You do not have to live in a community mm-hmm. to do great things for that community. You do not have to play for that franchise. A lot of people start foundations in the city that they started playing in, and they leave those foundations and they go elsewhere. So to sit here and under the notion that LeBron James is somehow is less, or he should be, when he's done great things for the city and for uh, yeah, and Shan, the community. I don't care how many schools he opens in the Cleveland area. Cavs games are not going to feel the same without LeBron James. That's they just Dan won't. Gilbert, tell Dan Gilbert, okay. since he's doing such great things in Detroit, mm-hmm. That let Dan Gilbert. He knows everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, he had he had him twice. He had him twice. He was blessed to have him twice. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's almost like being married to Nicole Murphy. Mm. You divorce her one time and then divorce her again, you fool. Mm. Dummy. I don't know. We are all sitting in Hollywood, so I don't know how any of us can talk about leaving our homes yeah! for the bright lights. We Skip all did. Force me. We all did. I just woke you up. Of course, me. I woke up one morning. The next thing I know, I'm looking around. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how did I get here? <laughs> how did I get here? You yeah. Had to be here. Yeah. Blindfold me. Fans in Cleveland. Boo hoo. They'll be, They'll be fine. all right. Rob, thank Skip, you. Skip, I can't thank believe you. For-